why is considering road design so important? It ultimately all comes back to sustainable development goals, especially target 3.6 and target 11.2. And it's about yeah, halving those road desks it is such a, a big problem. The ones we're focusing on is the, the orange ones, which are the infrastructure ones. Target four that focuses on existing roads. But for the target three, which is particularly relevant, you can see that down the bottom is a three star or better for brand new roads. So if I pass on to Chris, who will actually expand about what, how's this practically been working with Arup and the work they've been doing? Thanks, James. We too often will design roads and infrastructure to be compliant with standard. And actually, what can we do to make schemes as safe as they can be? And that led us through into the star rating and then ultimately star rating for design. The first stage, you can provide that tick that you delivered three star or better designs, which is a really important thing. The ease of understanding and almost the marketing benefit that that can provide. But more interestingly, the, the risk worms on the, the right show two different design options for the same scheme. And they were, they, were, they were broadly designed to standard. There isn't a scheme there that is not compliant and couldn't be delivered. But the two options show a very different level of risk associated with, a, in that, this case, a particular junction that couldn't be removed when a lower gradient was provided, but by steepening the gradient slightly, it allowed us to remove that junction and therefore actually allowed us to aspire to a design that was, was better, it was safer, even though technically both of them would have complied with standard. So it allows us to challenge designers challenge the assumptions we make and make better decisions about what's the safest scheme. The other element that we've, we've been looking at is how we use the FSI estimation to provide some level of verification and articulation of the, the safety benefits. So in this case, we've, we've looked at the, the FSI estimation of the existing road and then run the model to, to look at the FSI estimation of the design. And that gives us a figure on, on an annual basis where we can understand not just the reduction in risk, but actually how that could transpire through into reductions in, in fatal and serious injuries. It does provide an independent verification or rating. It provides something there that people can understand and is quantifiable and consistent across, across a region, a country or, or the globe.